Concluding Chapter 4, Part 5 It were folly to give the consecrated flesh of sacrifices to dogs. It were folly to present jewels to swine, who, finding that these did not satisfy hunger, would crush them into the mire and turn in their veracity upon the givers. Yet, when they had conducted themselves as well as possible, no circumspection could keep them from being assailed with malignity. When one town rejected them, they must escape to another, and thus give the whole land an opportunity of knowing what it was that Jesus taught. He assured them that they should not have visited all the towns till the mission of the Son of Man be accomplished by the establishment of his claims as Messiah. If that be the meaning of the saying, ye shall not finish the cities of Israel until the Son of Man come, if that be not the meaning, and I am far from being sure, and give it as the most plausible conjecture, then I do not know what Jesus meant. He was going to Jerusalem. There were two things to be secured, namely, an increased attention to himself and his words, and a sufficient interest upon the part of the populace to give him protection against the growing malignity of the church party, the priests, the scribes, and the Pharisees. Actually, that's the anti-church party, but all this might in some measure be produced by the ministry of the Seventy. The Jewish feast of the tabernacles was now at hand. It was, as Josephus says, the holiest and greatest of their festivals. The people would be assembled in great crowds. It would be an occasion for a powerful prophet to make an impression which should move the whole nation. Um, John 7 and 8, Luke 9 and 17 is what this is being bounced off of. The younger sons of Mary, whom we should call the half-brothers of Jesus, did not believe he was a prophet, yet perhaps hoped that he might put himself forward as a Messiah, such a Messiah as they, in common with their nation, hoped for, a splendid deliverer and conqueror and king. Well, they urged him to go into Judea, as his popularity seemed waning in Galilee, and moreover, all that he had accomplished was to attach a few fishermen to his cause. He had not won a person of any social or ecclesiastical distinction to this politic advice, which would have been sound if Jesus had intended to claim and maintain such a messiahship as they supposed. He returned this reply. Well, it always was actually about a saving example and liberty, liberating them by showing them an option uh, away from the liberalism and the conservatism. Um, conservatism, yeah. Um, but my time is not at present, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but it hateth me, because I testify that its works are evil. Go you up unto this feast. I go not up this feast, for my time is not yet fulfilled. They wished him to join their caravan and go up publicly and conspicuously. So, see, it wasn't his fulfilling of things had nothing to do with the doing away of things. Um, that, oh, I did it once, I never have to do it again. It's like, well, your obligation, pilgrimage, or whatever you think you have to do. Um, his time had not arrived. He would not be precipitated. He would avoid as far as possible giving any occasion to his enemies. He would not be of the party of his brethren, but after they had left for Jerusalem, he arranged his plans and went up to the metropolis. In a secret manner, he sent messengers before his face who made the necessary preparations so that in the evening he could enter lodgings, rest, and the next day proceed on his journey. They were going along the borders of Galilee and of Samaria. At one of the Samaritan villages, the party were refused lodgings because they were going to attend the feast in Jerusalem, thus witnessing against Mount 
Gerism. Well, that's... You're not saying that... You're not speaking against something to take part in something else, really. Usually. Sectarian rancor conquered Oriental hospitality. James and John, the latter generally conceived, I think, to be a Swedish... A Swedish kind... Not, not the country of Sweden, you know, but it's a Swedish, you know, a kind of characterless young man were so enraged that they desired permission from their master to call down fire from heaven to consume the town. They were not content that Jesus should do it. They desired the personal gratification of revenge on these people. Jesus rebuked them. They then went to the next village on the route. And a talent, a stator of Trifon, um, the Basil... Ice, but that looks like it's supposed to be like an O with a an O with a line under. Okay, um, and the uh, Oh wait, no, that looks truck. Oxer. Epskiti Fus Dionasan. Okay, so it's. You know, because Dionysus is a Jesus like figure, so it fits at the end of this. <laughs> 